Okay. So um, here we have uh, some uh, converging lens. Um, and so if we have our, our focal point, it wants us to, to try to draw things as well as possible. And so, and I'm already kind of messing it up, but let's see if I can not mess it up. So I'm gonna try to draw this nice and big, like this. Okay, so there's our focal point, which is about 10 centimeters over, and then uh, construct accurate ray diagrams for objects at distances of 20 centimeters. So here's the, the 20 centimeter object. And so <clears throat> the way we're gonna draw this is we sketch, can sketch three rays. So a ray which goes um, straight is going to be is going to pass through the focal point. Um, a ray which passes through the focal point is going to be come out straight and a ray which passes through the center is just going to go ugh. <laughs> I was doing well. It's going to just go straight. So <laughs> And they should come to the same spot anyway, so that kind of helps helps your hand. And so, um, because of my <laughs> my poor drawing skills, um, then it comes out there. So it wants us to determine the location um, from the ray diagram. So I mean from from this, it looks like it's, if this is 20 centimeters, then it looks like it's a bit more than 20 centimeters, but I would assume that because of the magnification that is obviously happening on the right side here, um, that it's going to be at 20 centimeters. Uh, is the image real or virtual? So here the image is, is real. Um, and inverted, right? So it's real because it exists, so it, we didn't have to backdraw the rays, which we'll see in a second. And uh, it's inverted because, well, it's inverted. So it's on this side, the, the object is up, on this side, the object is down. And now, um, if we apply our, our equations, so, one over the focal point is one over the distance of the object. Um, and there's a few different ways that I've seen this equation. So it's either plus one over the distance of the image, but the distance is me always measured positive this way for the object and positive this way for the image. Meaning if the image is this side, it'll be negative. Um, or we could re represent it always as positive on this side and then it would be um, 1 over d naught minus 1 over the distance of the image. So this sign changes depending on your definition of whether it's positive on one side or the other side. Um, I'm going to use uh, the, this one, even though it might be a little bit more confusing. So what that means is my D naught will be positive if it's on the object side, which it always will be, and, but my DI will be positive if it's on the image side, which is over here. Okay. So it's, it's purely measured from the center of the lens 
and going towards the direction where you would expect it to be. So 1 over 10 centimeters is 1 over 20 centimeters plus 1 over the distance of the image. 1 over di is 1 over 10 minus 1 over 20, giving them um, the same denominator. So this is 2 over 20 minus 1 over 20, um, which is then just equal to, so 1 over the distance of the image is 1 over 20. So our distance for our image is 20 centimeters. So again, this will be positive, which it is, for an image distance on the proper side, which is, which is this side. Um, and so the magnification is um, minus uh, di over d naught, which in this case is minus 20 over 20, which is equal to minus 1. So it's an inverted image. Um, now this magnification equation will also change depending on which of these two um, you use. So obviously if, you, uh, if your di is chosen differently, then this negative sign will not be there. So if you use a different axis, um, so this negative sign is particular to the equation I was using. Um, so in summary here, so this is a real inverted image, which um, if we compare it to our diagram, this diagram I drew here, it looks okay, although I would say it's, it appears as though it's magnified and probably not at 20 centimeters. But if we do the actual equations, then that's where it comes out. And I think I did a pretty good job, but not a great job. <laughs> um, okay, so five centimeters. So again, let's draw our lens. And 10 centimeters. And 10 centimeters. So there's our focal point. And now we have our object here. And now um, we really only have our center ray that we can draw. And our ray which passes straight must go through the focal point. Um, and now these two rays are diverging, so we must um, back, uh, I think I drew this in a way that's going to make this impossible, <laughs> yeah, in retrospect, I'm going to redo this looking at the f my original figure because this is going to be huge, so let's compress things a little bit, so I'm going to put Focal point there, focal point there, object here. Okay. Um, did I compress that at all? Yeah. Okay. So through the center, straight through the focal point. And so then these two rays. These, this right here needs to be back propagated and this one here needs to be back propagated and now I've got something that looks okay but 
is probably a little magnified, I think. Um, but it's that's where it's going to sit is wherever the two rays um, converge in the back propagation. And so this is going to be um, a, a, a virtual image. Um, which is not inverted and um, and it's also magnified, right? So if we run through our equations here, 1 over f is 1 over di plus 1 over d naught. Uh, remember that d naught will be positive if it's on the image, or sorry. <laughs> Remember that the eye will be positive if it's on the image side and negative if it's on the object side. Um, so here we have one over, um, I'm gonna do this properly, one over 10 centimeters is the focal point, or one over the focal point. Uh, five centimeters is our image, is our object. And then that's 1 over di, so 1 over di is 1 over 10 minus 1 over 5, giving them um, the same, is it 5? Yeah, okay. Giving them the same um, uh, denominators here, so 1 over di is... 1 over 10 minus 1 over 5, which is equal to um, 1 over 10 minus 2 over 10 minus 1 over 10. Uh, so apparently they should have converged at the, at the focal point. So I must have just been trying to force it. So I guess it would be here. Anyway, uh, so di is minus 10 centimeters. So it's behind the lens and at the focal point, in fact. So I, I, was, I must have been trying to push it, so I guess it should be there. Um, so now if we do our magnification, minus di over d naught minus minus 10 over uh, 5 which is equal to um, 2. So it's upright and magnified. Um, and it's a virtual image because um, we're on the negative side or the opposite side that we would expect. And in this case, I would say my drawings are uh, are lacking, um, and I, mostly because I tried to push it out because I thought it went that far out, but it, it should have been more like here, which you can kind of see it. I'd say. Okay, so that's roughly how you how you do this. Um, I'm obviously not not the best, the most artistic, but that's roughly how you do this. Um, okay. So, checking through this, so here's our ray diagram. Um, and there's the ray diagram for five centimeters, um, which makes it look, for me, it was at like two times F, but if we calculate it, um, for the first one, it's real. Uh, for the second one, it's virtual. The Their signs are, going all over the place. They're obviously using the, the negative version here. Um, oh, okay, I see. Um, so they're getting, uh, oh, there it is there, okay. Uh, so, what the heck? Uh, say, yeah. Uh, so from the lens equation, so, they get minus 10, minus f over 2, huh, okay, oh, okay, that's the, that, that, okay, um, but they're using the minus form, 
Oh, and yeah, okay. Um, so there the image is real, there's virtual, inverted upright, uh, the magnification in the first one is minus one, and the second one is plus two, so that looks good. Um, just pay attention if you're comparing the two that we use different signs on our uh, equation here, but you just have to know which version you're using. Um, so this looks good.